Hey guys, Video James, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to use Halucha. Now, Halucha is a very interesting Pokemon for the reason that it's a fighting and flying type. And I think he's actually the only fighting and flying type to ever exist. Unless I'm sorely mistaken and there is one hidden in the entries of the Forgotten Pokedex, but I highly doubt that's so. So when we look at Halucha, fighting flying gets quite a few resistances. That we have a resistance to grass, a resistance to fighting. A resistance to psychic, or not psychic, bug, and dark, and we get the immunity to ground, as well as, or no, ghost doesn't get an immunity to fighting, I'm thinking of normal. But then we do also see that we get quite a few weaknesses, that we get the electric and ice weaknesses, as well as the flying, psychic, and fairy weakness that you get from a flying, the flying, fighting type. And we do see that he can actually take out quite a few things, that with the fighting type he can take out Steel, he can take out ice, he can take out dark, um, I'm trying to think of what else, rock I'm pretty sure is weak to fighting, I already said ice, and then with the flying type we see he takes out grass, fighting, bug, I'm trying to think if there's anything else, no I don't think there is, and then we see his abilities, that we've got limber, preventing paralyzed, so that's really good, unburden, amazing ability, always love unburden, especially on a sceptile or a slurpuff, Speed is doubled once the held item is consumed, and also Mold Breaker. This Pokemon's moves are not affected by foe's abilities during battle. Now let me tell you, with the amount of Mimikyu's and stuff that I've seen rolling around in battles, you'll be wanting a Mold Breaker Pokemon. That Mold Breaker kind of gives you just that access to go straight through Disguise and snap it in half one hit. By it, I mean Mimikyu. So then, when we look at the move set that we've got Hone Claws, Aerial Ace, Encore... Flying Press, which for some reason is actually in Showdown's list of usually useless moves, which I don't get why. It's a 100 base power move with 95 accuracy that has two types. I mean, am I wrong or does that sound like something that's OP? Then we see it's actually got Feather Dance, which would be amazing if this had Prankster, and it still actually can be amazing, but we'll get into that later. I don't want to spoil the surprise. Spoilers. And we've got High Jump Kick, Sky Attack, Sky Drop, Sword Stance. Ironically, Sky Drop has a very low power. That it's only got 60 base power, and then Sky Attack has 140. Which, I mean, I guess it makes sense, because Sky Attack is a two-turn move. But then, so is Sky Drop, and Sky Drop actually takes the target into the sky. But, I'm not going to question it, because... Kinda not good idea to question Pokemon logic. I mean, trust me, if you question Pokemon logic, you end up going insane. I'm not gonna try and explain it. But anyway, we see in TMs and stuff, we've got stuff like Bulk Up, Taunt, Protect, usual stuff, Brick Break, Rock Tomb, Aerial Ace, which ironically you're not gonna see that much on a Holucha. If anything, you're gonna see Acrobatics or Sky Drop. Or not Sky Drop, Sky Attack. And then we've got Steel Wing. Focus Blast, False Swipe, Acrobatics, amazing move, Payback, Stone Edge, Sword Stance, Fly, Rock Slide, again, I love Rock Slide, it's one of my favorite moves, Excessor, Poison Jab, and U-Turn, and U-Turn is especially good for Halucha because it is a sweeper, that you're going to want to have a out for him at some point. And then we see Egg Moves, Agility, Me First, Ally Switch, Baton Pass, Quick Guard, a lot of good stuff. And then we see in the transfer moves that for some reason we have stuff like Dig, we've got Power Up Punch, we've got Drain Punch, we've got Dual Chop, which actually kind of makes sense, but I did not expect to ever see a Dragon-type move on a Fighting-type Pokemon. And then we see we got stuff like Fire Punch, Iron Head, again, love Iron Head, Thunder Punch, and Zen Headbutt. And then moving down on the stats, we see... Actually, amazing HP bulk for a sweep. That we've got 78 in the HP, 92 in the attack, 118 in the speed. So you already know this boy is going to be outspeeding everything. And then we've got 75 in the defense, 63 in the special defense, and 74 in the special attack. So you could go either way. You know, you could give him 271 in the special attack with max nature. Or you could give him 311 in the attack with max nature. You know, it just depends on how you want to run him. And then we move up into the set. Halucha did kind of disappoint me when I was looking at his moveset earlier because 
two moves that you would think would be on his set weren't there. Fake Out and Thunder Wave. I really wanted those to be on a Halucha. But anyway, I digress. First set we've got is a Choice Scarf set. Now, if you don't want to run Choice Scarf, you can run Choice Band and give him a Jolly Nature. But I think Choice Scarf is honestly going to work out better. You can, again, run Choice Band. But I kind of feel like Choice Scarf is going to work out better a little bit. But we see for the Choice Scarf, we got Mold Breaker to get through stuff like Mimikyu, like I said. Mold Breaker ignores abilities, so just hit that Mimikyu and it's not going to get the skies. And then we see we've got Flying Press, that Fighting Damage, plus the Flying Damage, plus the Power and the Chance to Flinch. Sky Attack for the Flying, the Damage, and the Chance to Flinch. Iron Head, again, Steel, taking out a few weaknesses with the Chance to Flinch. And then U-Turn just to get out of those sticky situations. That, with a flying press, you're going to take out a lot of stuff. You're going to take out stuff like Ice, Steel, and Rock. And then Sky Attack, finishing off some of those other weaknesses. And then you've got Iron Head just for a small bit more coverage. That Iron Head takes care of those pesky fairies, and sometimes even the ground types you can't get rid of. And then U-Turn's just a quick out. That, with Halusha having as high a speed as he does, you can just U-Turn to get out and just make it through. And then for the stats, we've got 252 in the attack, 252 in the speed, and an adamant nature with a 4 HP. Now, like I said, you can run a choice band, but if you do that, you'd end up switching to a jolly nature with same stats. And the reason for the higher attack is that without the adamant nature, Haluch is not hitting that much. That without the adamant nature, I'm going to actually take that off to see the exact numbers, Halusha would only be getting 283, so he wouldn't really be doing much. But then with the Adamant, like I said, we're hitting 311. And then if we throw on a Jolly Nature, where is it? There it is. We see that we're hitting 368 speed, so Halucha could easily outspeed stuff. So like I said, if you want to run a Choice Scarf set, use an Adamant Nature, or if you want to run a Choice Band set, run a Jolly Nature, but either way, Flying Press, Sky Attack, Iron Head, U-Turn, 252 in the attack, 252 in the speed, whichever nature you choose, whichever choice item you choose, and whichever nature you choose. So, that's it for the first set, and then the next Halucha set is a Focus Sash Swords Dance setup set. That we've got, <sighs> here on my screen, that we've got Swords Dance, Flying Press, Acrobatics, and Rock Slide, that shouldn't be Limber, that should be Unburdened. Uh, no. Hold on. Let me just fix this. Limber. Ah, come on, Halucha. Work with me here. There we go. Okay, so now... <laughs> sorry. Now we see we've got a Swords Dance set on Halucha, which works out kind of well. That We've got Swords Dance for that two times attack raising, bringing us up into the 412... 466, I almost said 426, and then we've got Flying Press and Acrobatics for the damage, because with Acrobatics, having that doubled power once you lose an item, that is going up to 110 base power, and then just Rock Slide for the flinch, that you've got a high attack, and Rock Slide takes out quite a few of your weaknesses, while at the same time providing you a flinch chance, and hitting both Pokemon at once if you're in a double battle. So... This Halucha set can basically work universal. It's basically able to go into double battles and single battles. That if you run this with something like, say... What's a good thing in this generation? Probably a Mega Kangaskhan with Fake Out, or to get a Maru with Fake Out. You can most likely get a free Swords Dance if you Fake Out the thing that's most likely to hit Halucha. And then you can just hit everything with your most powerful moves. And then Unburden is there because once you lose the item your speed is going to get doubled. So we've got the Focus Sash, and that lets us survive a one-hit KO, which, let's be honest, Halucha would need to, considering he's only got 186 and 162 with no defense investment. So with the Focus Sash letting us survive a one-hit, we'll be able to take pretty much anything, and then with our speed, we can outspeed a lot of Pokemon that we're getting outshown by almost everything underneath a Greninja. Well, not almost everything underneath the Greninja. I'd say probably the first 
20 under a Greninja. I think there's 20 in between Hawluja and Greninja. But then, with the Unburdened, that speed is getting doubled, so we're effectively doubling two of our stats at once. That with the Storage Dance giving us a times two, and the Unburdened giving us a times two, that we're basically just becoming a powerhouse. And with it having Unburdened, or... No, I was going to say, if you do choose to use Limber, that's what I was going to say, then that also works out good, because this set doesn't get paralyzed, but like I said, Unburden works so much better for this set, that Limber is probably going to be running on more of a sweeper set if you don't want to run Mold Breaker, but I highly recommend running Mold Breaker. Limber is probably going to be the ability you don't see on a Hulucha. Limber is probably its most useless ability, that Unburden works so much better for him. But then we see in the stats we've got 252 in the speed, 252 in the attack, and 4 in the HP with that jolly nature. Now let me explain. Because we have the high speed, we can just do that. And with the swords dance, we don't really need an attack nature that will be able to just boof our attack anyway. And we'll be hitting the 460s and we won't even need to break a sweat. So, like I said, this set's basically universal. You can run it singles, you can run it doubles, you can even run it triples and make him the middle Pokemon. And then we see we've got another setup set, well, another setup set, a setup set, and this one I chose to run the Psychinium Z, or Psychium Z. I always get that screwed up, because it sounds more right with Psychinium Z to me. But anyway, this set's basically Bulk Up, Agility, Roost, Baton Pass, Tanky Stat Pass set. With, let me explain this set. Limber, being the ability that prevents para uh, paralysis, We've got the Paralysis Proof, so something like Magnezone, which I've got up here, tries to use Thunder Wave on us. Not going to work, so we just let it do whatever it wants to. And then the Psychinium Z is there for the purpose of Agility. That if we use the Z Agility right before a Baton Pass, it will get rid of all of our lowered stats, while at the same time boosting our speed. And then we've got Bulk up there just for the attack and defense raising. Roost for the health raising in case we need it, which we might, considering how low on everything Halucha is. And then Baton Pass just to give our stats to something like a Mega Venusaur. And then we see for the stats, we've got 252 in the HP, 252 in the Special Defense, that's important, with a Careful Nature. Because with Bulk Up, you're boosting your defense, so you don't really need a nature, you can put one on but you're going to want to put as much investment into that special defense as possible and have all your other EVs into HP to kind of prevent you from taking a one-hit KO. And then the last set for Halucha is another setup set, but this one, we see we've got Taunt, Feather Dance, Roost, and High Jump Kick. This one is basically a setup blocker set, whereas the last one was a setup setup set. This one is a setup blocker set. So we see we get the Lumberry, prevent a status. Limber, can't get paralyzed, so we got one less status to worry about. And then we see we've got Taunt to stop, like, Pukamuku or Toxapex. Feather Dance to lower something's attack, so we say something tries to come at us with an Aerial Ace. Okay, but I get the Feather Dance plus the higher speed. Well, not on this set. But I get the Feather Dance, and your attack goes a little bit down, so a uh, bye-bye. Roost to get health, because this is kind of a tanky set, so you can get a little health back and survive. And then just high, high jump kick for the damage. That high jump kick having that 140 base power, I want to say. 140? I can't tell. Um, Let me just see, because I want to see if high jump kick actually does have 140 base power. There we go, that's better. I want to see if High Jump Kick... 130 base power. I was close. I was close. You gotta give me credit for that one. But, ah, no, use it. Okay, whatever. And then we see for the stats on this one, we've got 252 in the HP, 252 in the Special Defense, and a Careful Nature again. That, once again, we're not really going to be putting anything into the Defense, because it's already higher than our Special Defense. And that we're just going to be putting most of it into our special defense. Now, if you want, you can try and balance this out by putting 52 of the EVs into defense. But I don't know how well that's going to run. I haven't crunched the numbers on that yet. I haven't seen whether or not that's actually efficient in a battle. So, 
don't take my word that might do you good, but it also might not. Okay, I can't put in 52 for some reason. Let me try that one more time. There we go, and then import. That way it saves, and it can't change. There we go, yeah, so with the 52 in the defense, we're almost hitting 200, but we're not quite there. And if we throw on a defense boosting nature, like say, where is it, Impish, we're hitting 218 and 212 in the special defense. So you can kind of balance it out. I honestly actually think this might work a little better. No. No, the special defense set would work better because you do need that special defense to be as high as possible. But anyway, that's going to be how to use Halucha. Like I said, really interesting Pokemon. He does have a lot of potential. It would be... He would be a little bit more OP if he had stuff like Fake Out or Thunder Wave. But again, Halucha I don't really think was meant to be OP. I think he was just meant to be okay. But anyway... I'm leaving this video here. If you guys liked it, you can slap the like button as always, and I will see you guys later.